welcome in to the channel this is sage sunset healing tarot thank you for being here and i do hope you're doing well in this time much love to you um so thank you so much for liking the video for sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel so as you come in if you find messages that resonate with you do hit the subscribe button and become a part of this family here your support is abundantly appreciated as we intend to expand and to grow thank you so breathe in here with me and i hope i can get some accurate messages out for you in this time my darling we're gonna take a look at some intense messages i think it may get intense because we're looking at who is doing black magic on you Ooh. <laughs> so you know as with reading it may not it may not turn out how you think it will so let's get started here who is doing black magic on you and why the first card i have no clue the six of wands i feel like this person has feelings for you and they are a bit confused about the feelings they're attracted to you. So it could be like envy or jealousy or that evil eye because they're attracted to you. They admire you. They appreciate you. But at the same time, it's almost like they, they wouldn't mind if they could suck your juice out of you so that they can invigorate themselves with what you have. So it's that person that, I don't know who, it could be someone close to you. It could be a friend, a fire sign, a water sign so far. And I think they are jealous of you i don't think jealousy is the word it's that energy of being evil eye because this person i feel like they watch you they watch you whatever you do <clears throat> you may be doing it alone i feel like you are a champion at following in your heart space and you have a lot of joy and support and love surrounding you i feel like these people are this person they feel like i feel like i'm focusing on one person when i'm talking here but what kind of magic are they doing? I think it has something to do with your heart. As if this person looks at your river running in its correct course. <laughs> and they're standing there looking at your river running in its course. Guys, this is your river. This is the course you're supposed to be running on. But this person is standing on the bank and looking like, how can I get this? They want this river to turn into their course. <laughs> I don't know these people, they want your abundance. It sounds so wrong. They want to take it. They wouldn't mind having it. It's not really about you, you know, or, or, or getting to you. It's that energy that you exude. They see you with it and they want it. Is the, This person feels like uh, they could be an ordinary thief that if they just see someone with a bling watch and they just have the urge to want that watch too. I'm seeing a star, a five-pointed star. They want, they want, they want your the abundance that is flowing into you, all of your joy, your happiness, your success, your celebrations, your strength, your courage, your determination, your willpower, how you're following your heart. They wish that was flowing into their life. So they're standing at the bank watching this and this river, I'm telling you, this river that is you, that is flowing, it's, it reminds me of when the river comes down in my community. It's a hell of a force. It's rushing through. It's like, that's how you're passing this person. And they are, that's the, like, this feels like the amount of a flow or abundance that's coming toward you. Sleep, relax, rely, relay, relent. What do they want? Release, ease, relax, lay down. This is what, maybe this is what someone wants. They want you to like, let it go. You know, cause I was talking about the force of the river. Maybe they don't mind if, cause for you, they want the four of swords. For you, they want four of swords and it just, that's the energy they, they, they want to see you quelled, like quell, simmered. 
relaxed. They, they, yeah. This is going to be a lot of editing. This could be death, but I don't see the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords behind it. But it's the energy of they just want. They maybe is that maybe just maybe not attracting right. They don't want things to maybe attract to you or to flow to you. Maybe that's power or information or influence. You have the influence over water, bodies of water. If, if, it feels like somebody would want to get rid of you before you realize that you, you are a waterbender. Like you can create storms or something like that. As if they don't want you to know the force, the full force of your nature. They see it, they felt it, because they messed with you. They tried you, and they felt your wrath. Like some of you know, people that are, have been trying to oppress you, to hold you down, but then they see this your the abundance that's flowing to you, and they can only stand there and feel the breeze off of it as it flows, and that's your flow. And they are still like they, 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 they don't maybe don't want to believe it's yours, but. It's like they they can't deny it no. Okay. These people could be family friends, just people that surround you, and not 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 everyone. I feel like it would be the people that are really the closest to you, because what we call black magic is it can be an even. <laughs> intention that someone has for you like this person like yo that motherfucker you ain't never gonna succeed bruv like like they put that word on you like the word is the power and if you have weak intentions or if you have no intentions for yourself that's why a man without a vision perishes it's almost like their word becomes power or dominant over your life so you're wondering how come things are not working out for you how come there's no love flowing into you and so on and so forth and it's because maybe there's people with evil eyes, like they be surrounding you and they're looking at you like this. They always be watching you. And it feels like abundance is, you are always abundant in all ways. And so they're always watching you. And that literally takes away from their abundance because they're watching you, but they don't realize this. So they keep in this cycle, but you just keep flowing. That's how you flow. Like I'm seeing this river flowing through. It's powerful. I don't know where you're going, but this river is going somewhere today, right? Nothing will stop you. Anyway, so that's what they see. And it's almost like you're getting bigger and bigger. And you're going to watch these people away. You know, I once had this dream and it was so beautiful. I was in a river being washed. Anywho, so I was in this river being washed and the dirtiest river possible all kind of debris stones there was there's not any stone in this river and trees and debris in this river that i'm talking about now it's just the force of water but in my vision i just cannot understand how i survived but i'm gonna tell you there was steel you know long pointed steel in the water being washed with me and I, i'm thinking how am I not being pierced by steel and boulders and trees washing in this water? There were other people being washed as well. Then I looked to my side and there was this big man here, dark skin possibly. And he was like cuddling my, to the side of me, so protecting me basically, I realized. And then I, we ended up... Something other things happened, but then we ended up into we ended up washing out of that water, and then we ended up on a road. No, all of that water, I don't know where it was going, but we ended up coming out on a road. Yeah, he had the baby first. This this tall, strange being that was protecting me in the water. He gave this baby to me, and I walked with the baby over to another side of the road, and when I looked, there was a body of water, so pristine. I was. 
I can't explain the feeling. The water was so clear and so beautiful and so sunny. There were some huge fishes in this water, you know what I mean? And it was, I know it's all symbolic, but it was so beautiful. I was I just, um, I was struggling in the, in the floodwaters just now. And I ended up like being washed onto the road safely. I don't know. So there's a force of water or flood, but you're going to end up on the clearer side in clearer waters, more pristine waters. Fish represent abundance and prosperity. But we were just talking about a dream and we were talking about people that are doing black magic on you. So now we know that there are people doing black magic. The black magic I feel is just... What I'm picking up is evil eye and the evil intentions and the, the deeds and the thoughts that they may have. It's not all pure, These some of these people that surround you. The, the energy that they surround you with is not all pure. They may go, yeah, for you, and they may mean it, but it's not 100% because in within themselves, they feel a little jealousy or envious or lack, you know, because of this your flow and even if you're not wealthy or whatever it is it's just that that energy you walk with such a powerful force kingdom and i hear kingdom why is that i don't know glorious kingdom he comes from glory i don't know maybe they see that light in you the way you're able to move on your path i'm going somewhere up a hill i'm walking you know maybe you've left this these people before to be on your own so that's it. What was that? I felt something else. See something about the sea or the ocean and our seashells. Seashells. You know, because I have something else to share with you. <laughs> Look, the two of hearts. So you've been following in your heart space. I hear dodging. I don't know what that means. Like you're going in and backpacking across the earth, backpacking. That's what dodging feels like. Like you're stopping here, stopping there, going here, going there. You're going after what is your destiny or your soulmate or you're following in your heart space. Or you're looking to align with a certain feeling of coming into alignment, maybe with love. There could be magic surrounding your love as well. Presence. I feel like these are the people that watch you. Did I say evil eye? They watch you even when they're not around you. They want to know what your energy is like. They want to know what you're up to. Who is in your life? What, what are you feeling? Because they feel like you're getting the best. Is that energy? And these people are people that I think are close to you. They're not strangers. I feel like these people think of you laying in bed at night. Like maybe you must be happy or who is laying with you. They, these people feel like you've always gotten the best. That's how they think. And their presence are with you. That's why I'm saying they're close to you. They know your space. So they easily eavesdrop and wonder about your energy. Because they keep an ear on you. There's something about love. I love you. I'm sorry. I love you may experience or receive. It's like these people are afraid of the love you may receive. All the love. Like they're afraid to see you happy in love. Because they feel like, like what they'll just have to look at you all the time being happy in love. I don't know. I feel like you have the capability of hurting people emotionally because they love you. Or they say they love you. Or they've gotten attached to loving you or to love you. Or they have an idea of you and so it's like if you do something outside of that they say you've hurt them 
and it makes it e like that's when they are able to condemn you. Wow. I can feel like these people have condemned you before. Maybe you've done it to people too before too, you know what I mean? Others too, you've condemned others because this eerie feeling comes from a feeling of being condemned by others. Maybe not forgiven. Reproach. And I feel like you've even you've moved on with these people in your life, but the energy wasn't resolved or dissolved. And so the condemnation or the intention or the, the energy that they put toward you is still alive. I do feel like you still have people around you that look at you with evil intentions. Should I say evil? I don't know. Because I feel like they're smiling, but in their hearts they feel something about you that's not healthy. It's not happily, healthily supportive, you know, because envy and jealousy is not, it's not a good feeling. And it keeps people from growing because you see someone else growing and you, you have similar goals. It's, it's, so some people don't know how to celebrate that because it makes them feel because comparison is the greatest thief of joy and feeling not included in the mission some way, somehow. Maybe these people feel like you're holding back from them. See what I'm saying? These people are family, friends, past soulmates, close one, relatives, close people I out here for you. People that are close to you. Let's take a look at the outcome. Or at the highest before. Invest in yourself. What is that? You're going to do something like invest in yourself, protecting your money or what is valuable. I feel like you're holding on to something. You may be going somewhere to protect yourself, your energy, your gifts, your value, your money, your well-being. To the water, with the sand, the, the shells, the shells with the ace of the eight of cups. I feel like that's simply what you need, just to be around the shells and the sand and you don't even have to swim you just need to be with the shells and this just right there's something about some shells maybe there's a particular type of shell that you can own or possess or cling i like that and wear it around your neck you know the energy of a beach boy he finds a random shell he has it tied around his neck on a piece of string so it's kind of a rugged looking necklace but it does save him. I don't know what that means. It saves him. It saves him because it shows his his connection to to the ocean, his relationship to nature, that he his, he he looks to other families outside of his village. And the water means something to him. Someone is definitely watching your happiness. They could be watching you. But they're watching your happiness. They're watching you being happy. They... This person could be pretending or hiding behind something. They're looking, they're observing. They could be learning from you. But they're looking, they're not really saying anything. But the way they're watching you, it's not out, it's not admiration or love. They're just looking at you.
Anywho, I think I'm done with this reading. Thank you so much for watching and I thank you, um, my energy. <sighs> so thank you for watching and I um, appreciate you coming through. Do hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next reading. So make sure to come back around again. You, when you subscribe, you get notified whenever I upload new content for you. Um, and you also help this channel to grow bigger, to expand, which is also uh, an achievement, a goal. So thanks for coming through. Subscribe and I appreciate you. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.